going on YouTube family? Working late night tonight. <clears throat> and um, actually today is January the 6th. And um, I wanna talk in this video. I just wanna, I just wanna give my two cents on what happened in DC today. What happened in Washington today. These protests and these riots, man. Um, don't really have nothing regarding trucking that I want to chat about in this video. I just kind of want to want to voice my opinion on this uh, on this subject. Um, and I, I want to I want to do I want to feel like I'm doing my part to help to help bring some understanding to um, to a situation to help to help bring us to a, to a better America to help bring us um, to a better country. And I believe that the way to do that is through understanding, right? So, you know, today I, I, I've been out on the road all day and I haven't um, done a really good job of keeping up on what's going on. But apparently, you know, there's been protesters. I've seen a little bit about it on YouTube. There's been protesters. Um, and they've stormed the Capitol building in D.C. Um, I've heard that there have been that there's been some some violence i've heard that you know i've seen that they had to lock down the capitol building um i've heard that the police um were very prepared to deal with this situation um i believe i heard or saw a lady being bought out of the capitol building that was bloody so obviously there was some violence that happened these protests turned violent um and they had to calm people down they had to calm people down right so you know um what is really, really interesting to me about what happened today, and I'll, right now I'm going to speak to a certain, a certain um, demographic. Okay, I'm going to speak to a certain portion of MAGA, the MAGA supporters. That's specifically who I'm speaking to right now. Okay, now I don't want any criticism or no extreme criticism or hate or anything like that on this post because this is this video is definitely not about um encouraging hate and it's definitely uh uh not about making anybody upset or stepping on any toes it is about um helping 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 the individuals that i'm speaking to to, to gain perspective okay and to me through getting perspective being able to understand and see another side again that's that's how we we come to another level of understanding in regards to a thing and that's how and that's how um to me that's the first step of 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 each one of us as individuals doing our part to um to heal america man because right now the state that america is in you know there's a lot of things going on in the leadership that are not good but the state you know we the people we are america we are the ones that are America. So we are the ones that put the people in power that are in power. So if anything is going wrong in the leadership, you know, we the people have to be willing to take our responsibility. Back. You know, we have to be responsible for our role in that. And so, you know, um, it, it, the, the certain portion of MAGA supporters that I'm speaking to, and I'm gonna say this too, I want you guys to listen closely, okay? Um, because, Today, there were, I would assume that most of the people that were storming the Capitol building today, that protested in Washington today, um, were MAGA supporters. I would assume that, okay? Um, if I'm wrong about that, please feel free to let me know down in the comments. But I, I would believe, I would um, assume that most of these people were MAGA supporters, right? Um, uh, and I know there's other demographics of Donald Trump supporters, so, but I'm only talking to know um a, a certain demographic right so you, th these people and the people that were out there and the people that support that cause i know all of donald trump supporters don't support that i do understand that okay um and so i'm not speaking to that group of donald trump supporters that don't support this okay I'm speaking to the ones that do support this and there were a lot of people out there today so <laughs> I know publicly some people would say I don't support that but what we do in private is another is a whole nother thing okay so if you support this in private I'm speaking to you okay so you guys understand being upset enough 
to about the results of this election to protest to the degree that the protests actually turned violent today okay i would be the first one to agree nothing wrong with protest okay um but these protests today turned violent all right you guys actually believe in your cause which is um overturning the results of a democratic election that has gone before um several uh courts and 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 hasn't uh, gotten anything done hasn't gotten anywhere with the courts right I don't understand the political system just as much as the next man um, and, the, and, and how they count the votes and all that good stuff but I do know that if you go to the courts with the claim 60 times and it doesn't get anywhere then your claim may not have any validity so this has nothing to do with whether I believe in the election results or not um, um, well this doesn't have anything to do with which side I fall on as far as who I voted for the point is you guys believe in, in your cause, which is not supporting the, the election, the results of the election enough that you're willing to go to Washington and violently protest today, okay? Um, there have also, uh, also been MAGA supporters that, have, that made plans, keep in mind these people made plans to kidnap governors around the nation as well, okay? Again, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. I don't want to piss anybody off, okay? I, I am coming to a point here, so just follow me here. Again, everything that I'm sharing here with you is going to make sense because I'm actually not about to... I'm not getting on you guys about the protest, okay? Just keep... Just follow me here. You guys believe in your cause enough to be... To go to that extent, okay? Um, I was speaking with my daughter the other day and she was saying that... She said it's almost like... You know, as, as, as far as people being upset or MAGA supporters being upset about being told to wear masks, because that was the, 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 the one of the reasons, from what I understand, that the people were uh, plotting against governors in, across the country. My daughter was saying it's almost like these people are protesting their right to be able to kill themselves if they want to. Because we were, we were talking about the coronavirus and she was saying, well, you know, it seems that, you know, they are putting these rules in place to protect people from the coronavirus. And I was like, yeah, I think that they that they are. But this group of people are upset because they feel like their rights are being infringed on. They feel like you can't tell them to wear a mask if they don't want to wear a mask. And me and her was talking about that. And she said, well, it's almost like they're protesting their right to be able to do what they want to do, even if that involves um killing themselves right and i was like yeah they, they kind of are you know um it's, it's individual liberties that they're protesting right so and since essentially you guys are, are protesting um because you you know you you want your 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 individual liberties okay here's the point in all of this that i'm getting up to most of there's a lot of mega supporters that do not understand what I'm gonna call the plight of Asiatic people, the plight of what you would call the black man. There's a lot of MAGA supporters that don't understand that plight. In other words, when an Asiatic, as I refer to them, a so-called black person gets assaulted by the police and they're for, for on video for, for what appears to be no apparent reason, and there is no justice and so-called black people take to the streets backed and supported by other nationalities nobody understands that nobody understands these people all these all, all the people that's watching those protests know is these people are violent these people are antifa these people you know protesting is one thing but setting fires to buildings and destroying property is another thing and this type of behavior shouldn't be shouldn't be tolerated that's the attitude towards those people that um that are protesting right and so you know again talking to my daughter the other day she was saying she pointed out to me and i was like man that's so profound she said one group of people is protesting their right to have you know the the right to 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 not be told what to do even if it involves killing themselves they want to have the right to be able to govern themselves and do that and the other group of people are protesting their right 
to not be gunned down in the street unjustly okay so what i'm saying here is this this group of MAGA supporters the people that support this what happened today again i'm not the one to say that i don't understand your passions that's not what i'm saying that's why i don't want you to get upset with me what i am saying is if you do understand listen man i'm pissed off enough to protest to the degree that you know we're planning on kidnapping governors and i support that because you're infringing on my civil liberties if you feel that way then you should definitely understand the plight of a people that say hey we're protesting the right to not be killed in the street talk about civil liberties talk about individual liberties so there's one group of people protesting the right to 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 be to to not to, there's one group of people that's protesting the right to be able to be so free that they can kill themselves if they want to and there's another group of peop people that's protesting the right to not be killed unjustly okay i want you guys that are MAGA supporters that support what's going on what happened in washington today and what has been going on with that segment of 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 of, of trump supporters i want you guys to through what i'm sharing with you again this is about perspective i am not saying that I don't understand your passion what I am saying is how can you not understand the plight of a people that are protesting being gunned down and being unjustly treated by the same people that you're pissed off at today for, for and, and this didn't just start happening to Asiatic people to so-called black people this has been happening to them under the leadership and under the under the under the under the authority of the same people that you're pissed off today these people that are protesting have been protesting how they have been being treated by these people for hundreds of years and so again if you understand have being passionate enough to take the actions that that you have been taking okay how can you not understand when an asiatic person gets gunned down in the street several of them week after week after week on tv on video on news nothing happens no justice and people take to the streets and then you don't understand at that point i want you to also understand what if it would it would have been a different segment of people what if it would have been the same segment of people that are that that what you would call antifa the people that tend to take to the streets when people are unjustly treated by authorities and by police and, and by government in some situations and the, and the people take to the streets and start protesting and stopping traffic and all of that good stuff what would it what it what, what would have happened do you think would have happened today if that group of people would have been the group of people that would have stormed washington today in the fashion that the MAGA supporters stormed washington today if that group of people the asiatic people if they would have stormed washington today and started getting violent inside of the capitol building can you imagine how the authorities would have dealt with that instead today it was a situation where this was expected this was essentially being called for yet it's being reported that the authorities in dc weren't even ready to deal with this situation what i want you to get from this this segment of MAGA supporters that I'm talking to you again that I'm talking to again I'm not getting on you what I want you what I'm trying to point out to you and get you to understand is what the people that look like me have been going through in this country at the hands of the people that you are upset with today for hundreds of years and so when we protest when our people when people that look like us protest something happening to us and nothing happening you're supposed to be behind us you're supposed to be right behind them in the streets protesting okay that's what i guess that's kind of what i want to have happen as a result of me speaking to you the MAGA supporters that support the behavior that has been going on um with this um um sector if you will of the of of that movement okay i want you guys to understand the plight of 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 <laughs> of the people that this has been going on like this just started you got you know what i mean like i ain't never seen nothing you guys be this upset before i've never seen anything like this um before and so again um if if if, if what you're doing makes sense to you which i'm not saying that it doesn't then what 
Asiatic people are doing what so-called black people do when they see no justice and how they're being treated you got to stand behind them you can't get upset you can't get afraid you can't start saying well we're going to defend our neighborhood you can't start saying there's no there's no reason for setting buildings on fire you know pro peaceful protest is fine but when you get violent there's no reason you can't say all of that you're supposed to understand when people suffer injustices for hundreds of years and they get pissed off and they start tearing shit up you're supposed to understand that I am not saying that, that that behavior is acceptable from them or from you, from us or from you. What I am saying is if you understand when you do it, you can't be a hypocrite. You have to understand when, when we do it. That is the point that I want you to get from watching, um, from watching this video. So again, I hope I don't draw any hateful comments. Again, this is not about hate. This is merely about giving perspective to the, the group of people that support the type of behavior that's been going on. We can't wait for leadership to straighten out this country. We the people are this country. And so I just wanted to share this video and my opinions and my perspectives on this subject, um, hoping that it would bring understanding to someone so that we can start to begin the healing process. So we can start to understand that even though we got differences, we got a lot more um, in common than we actually understand sometimes.